<laughs> All right, what is going on everyone? I'm back again with another video. It has been two weeks instead of one week, but I took a little break before I started this little prep series and just because work and life has just been hectic, but it is what it is. I'm back now and back for good. Um, we are gonna be starting a prep series today or this video. Um, I'm currently 20 weeks out from my first show and then 20 weeks or 21 weeks out from the next show, which is nationals the following week in Queensland. Um, so yeah, uh, what we're kind of going to be going through is just documenting the whole journey of the prep, uh, a bunch of informational shit along the way and kind of what I'm doing in terms of food, training, supplementation, special supplementation. Yeah. <laughs> um, just so you kind of have a insight of, you know, what goes on during prep. Um, I'm starting at, oh, I originally started prep at 112 kilos. That was two weeks ago after my cheat day. Uh, and I'm now down to 108 and a half kilos. So, you know, I've lost like three and a half kilos in the first two weeks, which is not bad. Um, no major like significant changes or anything. Uh, it's mainly just been like water, glycogen, a little bit of fat, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you like a current physique update of how I'm looking now. And then we'll kind of, I guess, have a look at everything over the next, you know, coming months of how I'm looking going to the show, as you'll see in the videos anyway. But um, yeah, we'll sh go, well, I'll, I'll show you how I'm looking now as like a, a current physique update, you know, flat, whatever, no pump. So that is the current physique, how we're looking 20 weeks out, whatever, from my first show. Let's see how we go. Um, God, I'm puffed out. Holy shit, I'm so out of shape. <laughs> That is the pre-workout meal made. I am gonna devour this because it is. This is my favorite meal of the day by far. 100 grams cream of rice, one scoop of protein, 40 grams peanut butter, some salt, like the pink Himalayan salt. That she gives you that good, a good pump. Um, 150 grams frozen strawberries, cinnamon, and stevia. Just a little tip as well. Um, as you saw when I was doing the peanut butter when you're weighing out your peanut butter and shit, instead of like trying to put your meal on the scale and like guess how much peanut butter, put the peanut butter on, tear the um, the scale so it comes out at zero and it's just negative 
however many grams. So for example, I had 40 grams of peanut butter, so it's negative 40 on the scale, and then you just put that in your food. That is the easiest way to do anything that's out of a jar or whatever, like any spreads. I don't know, any spreads really, that's the best way to do it. I'm gonna eat this, and then get ready for the gym, and then me and James got a push session today, I think. Um, so yeah, I'll be meeting him at the gym in like an hour and a half, probably. I've been super motivated. <laughs> like just, it's the start of prep. Like you're always like motivated to be fucking getting big and strong and getting shredded. But uh, yeah, it's just, I'm real keen for the rest of this year to see what we can get done. I am just watching Christian Guzman, two weeks out, full day eating. He, Christian Guzman, if you, man. If you don't know who Christian Guzman is, do yourself a favor, go watch his videos. He's the OG, he owns Alpha Elite, 3D Energy Drinks, Alpha Land, fuck knows what else he owns, but he's the man. Christian Guzman has been my idol since like I was 15 or 16 years old. I'm 21 now, that's a long time. He's the OG, he is the G actually. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna smash this meal and then I'm gonna get ready for the gym and then you will see me at the gym. All right, we're on our way to the gym now. Um, a little bit later than I was trying to get to the gym, James has some shit to do, so we're going now. I think, pre-workout wise, I'm not gonna take anything too crazy, because uh, on Saturday, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, jcoach7, um, you, you would have seen on my story that I had this really fucking strong pre-workout if I can find it, I guess not, but um it's like fucking 500 milligrams of caffeine just too much stims for me to handle and I felt fucked, like I took a whole scoop of that and some pump product and I felt wrecked so I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from like heavy fucking stim but um, we'll probably go for like a nootropic and uh, pump formula today. We'll see how we go. All right, pre-workout going in. Uh, the nootropic is, I'm gonna use Brain Gains today, which is the powder. The other one I use is a pill nootropic. There's no real, no real difference apart from some of the ingredients. It's, it's all the same shit. I just love using these nootropics for pre-workout, even though they're not necessarily meant for pre-workout like a lot of the time people use them before work or shit like that <sighs> I like it as pre-workout just from the focus element I guess of the nootropic like there's nothing really else to it a little bit of caffeine but like fuck all in comparison to a normal pre-workout and then I'll have a pump formula as well and I think today I'm going to use hydraulic by Axe and Sledge, that's definitely my favorite pump pre-workout. Just in terms of the panel on it, it's fucking, it's solid. Um, I've put up like all like little reviews and shit of uh, the pre-workouts that I use on my Instagram. Um, whenever I do use a new one or whatever, I'll, I'll chuck a little review up there. So next time I try a new one, don't be a, uh, don't miss out. I'll give a, the honest review, no bias. Let me go, Scooper Hydraulic. Yeah, nothing major on the pre-workout front today, but uh, should be still a good session regardless. Uh, rest day yesterday, so I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I got a little bit of a fucking headache though and a sore throat, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. The uh, the prep goes on, we, we keep going. Um, nothing major, but uh, yeah, I will now see you at the gym. Hey, what's up? How are we, everybody? <laughs> Time to get fucking massive. I feel about as strong as a five year old girl today.
getting ready. Bro, fucking putting elbow sleeves on is the actual worst before a test. It, it takes so fucking long. Especially when your arms look like that. <laughs> it sucks, either way. Now you got this. Now I get new ones, they're fucking falling apart. What size? XL, like you know this bit, like the, the patchy yeah, bit. Yeah, the seams. Not, in, not even the same, like the material in it, you know? Oh. It just started like going, oh, yours are fucked. Yeah, mine are fucked. <laughs> just keeps the elbow, it keeps my elbow warm though, so. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yeah. Did I have 52 and a half? Are they 52 and a half? No. Nah, surely. Uh, Smith Machine Military Press next door. Go pump him out, let's go. Yeah. Fuck oh, man, tennis side is heavy. <laughs> yeah. Heavy. Yeah. Tennis side heavy. <laughs> oh man, that was sweet. Just a little tip, when you're doing any uh, lateral raise, always drive the elbow out. Rather than trying to like, just throw the weight up, drive the elbow out, you feel a lot more.
All right, that's the session wrapped up. Pump acquired. Actual. My yeah, I was looking. <laughs> um, that's the session done. Pretty solid session. Hit some PVs on the on the incline, dumbbell, and that was about it. Not that great, but <laughs> good enough. All right, yeah, and I will see you back at home. Actual. Nah, yeah, no posing today. I showed you one this morning, but I'll see you back at home. Ciao. Actual, say goodbye to James. Bye, everybody. <laughs> In his jocks. All right, bye bye. I'm back from the gym. It's actually like three hours later. Uh, I just did admit some meal prep for tomorrow for work and all that shit, and my meals for the rest of the day. I'm so far behind on meals today, I didn't even realize. But yeah, I still have three more meals, and it is. What's the time? It's 6.08. It's 6.08 I still got three more meals. And I'm like normally in bed by 10.30. So that's a problem. But it is what it is. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed like the first part of the video. But I think now we're just gonna, just gonna have a little conversation um, about the prep and what my goals are for the prep and whatnot. First off, to everyone who's actually watching the videos and supporting and actually interested in my prep, I appreciate you. I promise I won't let you down. Um, the starting point is it's pretty it's pretty decent, much better than my last prep, um, which I didn't even get to get on stage for, but it is what it is. This time, much better starting position, much leaner, bigger, look better, so, it should be good. It should be good. My goal for this year is to take out the Juniors Mr. Australia. Oh, we'll see. In Perth, at least, is, is my goal. Like in the, the state show, for sure. Um, for junior bodybuilding. But I, I kind of want to do classic physique more than bodybuilding. Like, I feel like right now, currently, my, my physique looks more bodybuilding just because I'm still kind of fat. But then once I lose a majority of the fat, I feel like the shape kind of transforms more into like a classic shape and the lines and all that shit. Like if you understand bodybuilding and classic physique, you understand what I'm saying. Um, if not, then uh, I can't help you. <laughs> but just like the flow of the physique, everything just looks much nicer, blah, blah, blah. The shape, proportions, whatever. I feel like I suit classic a bit more. And my cutoff for classic is 97 kilos, I believe. And I'm currently 108 and a bit. So, like 11 kilos to come off, which is not too bad in 20 weeks. That should be pretty cruisy. Um, but the plan is to get to like low to mid 90s and be like fucking proper peeled out of my brain. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's the plan for it anyway. Um, but yeah, still... With, with the training and stuff, like, uh, I'm going to do my best to actual stay as strong as I can. Because I feel like the last time I prepped, uh, I was training by myself a lot. I was working up north, blah, 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 a bunch of excuses. But <laughs> I was, like, just going through the motions of just getting shit done. Um, but I'll be in Perth, I, I hope, for majority of the prep this time. So I'll be able to train with my coach, which I'll get videos of and document some of that as well. Which should be sick. He's awesome. IPB Pro, Paul Vu, he's a G. And I'll actually be able to train with James pretty much every day if like our work schedules line up. Um, and I've got a couple of other training partners that kind of like alternate in when they kind of have time, um, which is sick. And I'm sure you'll meet all of them over this uh, prep series. The main, main thing I'm kind of going for is just to absolutely fucking blow <laughs> my last package out of the water, which I think is is definitely gonna happen. Um, you know, you gotta, gotta manifest that shit, but um, I'm pretty positive that's gonna happen. In terms of the timeline, you know, I have 20 weeks until this first show, the state show, and then once you've done the state show, you qualify for the national show, which is where you can win your pro card, which would be pretty cool. So if I end up doing really well in the classic physique uh, category in the state show, or really well in the bodybuilding category. I, I think I'll be better in classic just because I don't have the size to go up against 
some of the open guys because they're fucking ginormous, especially uh, at nationals. But um, I guess we'll see. So, yeah, I don't really know where I'm going with this. I just wanted to talk to you about all this shit. Like, right now, my calories are 3,300 or just, just above. Um, it's like 247 protein, 400 carb, 80 fat. I mean, it's still pretty good, and I'm getting leaner on it, so no no complaints. But I'm sure the calories are going to get low, and my cardio is just 10,000 steps at the moment, which is fuck all. I pretty much get that every day at work. Um, and if I don't, I, you know, I, I bought a treadmill last prep, and I just use that. If I haven't hit my steps, I'll go for a walk or whatever. I hope you enjoyed this whole whole thing, and I uh, hope you stay here. I hope you stick around to uh, to follow through the little prep journey that's gonna happen, because we're going to the top, baby. We're going to the top. This is the year. Trust me. This is the year. We're gonna make shit happen, um, for sure. Because I, I got some shit I want to do, and we're gonna get that done. Um, yeah. But anyway. I appreciate you all if you actually made it this far in the video. I give you a big kiss. <laughs> Thank you for uh, sticking around. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on post notifications so you can see all of the next videos that are come out. I'm actually going to try and do one video a week for this prep series. No matter what. Even if it's like, I don't know, pretty shitty. But <laughs> I'll do my best to keep them good. Um, I feel like the, the content's actually been not bad. And like, I've had... A lot of people saying it's pretty good, but either way, I'm gonna keep ramp, stop rambling on, and uh, finish the video off here. So, thank you, much love, and goodbye.